with our special guest Stacy and Stacy's here to share some of her life experiences regarding this particular topic so let's give her an ear and um, chop it up with Stacy. Stacy, how are you doing? Hey. How's your day today? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Good. We're all right. We're all right. We're good. We're good. Keeping safe from COVID? Man, fuck COVID. <laughs> 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 I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to talk about COVID anymore, but to answer your question, yes, we are keeping safe, trying our best to, you know. That's good. So yeah. Uh so regarding the topic that we're talking about, it is we feel that it is it's a very important topic because I mean a lot of times we hear a lot about what uh the individual who is doing time, what they're going through and how that experience is for them. We hear a lot about that. But we don't hear a lot about uh the loved one on the outside mm-hmm. you know we don't hear about the partner on the outside and and their coping mechanisms and and how they deal with what they're going through and what they actually are going through you know right. so we're definitely glad to have you on the show uh we appreciate you giving us the time we appreciate you giving us the privilege to hear your story um i'm going to start off with asking you a question if you don't mind so of course the first question i'm going to ask you is what are some of the challenges involved with loving and caring for somebody that's on the inside okay i mean mentally emotionally physically financially you have challenges with communication uh trust dependency you know they're they're all challenges and i think they're all huge challenges okay okay and these are all these challenges you've gone through them yourself yeah i mean yeah i'll be honest i've i've experienced you know the the physical you're you're with your person all the time with them every day you talk to them on the phone and then you close your eyes and they're not there you have right, right. you know the emotional so you're lost you're hurt you're angry you don't know what's going on you have the mental you know you could sit down with your thoughts and literally lose your mind so it's like i wasn't talking at the beginning you know i wasn't expressing how i was feeling i wasn't talking allowed so it it's it can play a toll on you mentally i mean financially i mean two words collect calls you guys know yeah. it, right it, right it adds right. up it, it, you know depending on where your person is the mileage and mileage on your car means gas in your tank you know i bought gas on sunday for a dollar 28 uh-huh. so yeah it, you know it can, it can add up the canteen is every week you know so Yeah. It could definitely put holes in your pockets if 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 you allow it to. So uh challenges with communication, what you say, how you say it, you know, when he calls, how you answer the phone, um the tone in your voice, the level of volume in your voice when you guys are speaking, you know? It's it's crazy. It's crazy. The dependency, it's a whole new scenery. You have somebody that's completely and solely dependent upon you for everything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I I I I've, I've had a little bit of experience with all of these challenges. <laughs> so, what would you say would have been the most difficult one out of the bunch? Like what was for you like you were even almost at your breaking point or you were just like, you know what, this is this is too much like So out of all of these different challenges that you were facing, what would you say would have been the most difficult one that you had to to face or undergo or still is going through? Uh I'd have to say you know mentally there's something like you know you have your person with you all the time and you make these plans and you have these ideas and these thoughts for what you guys want and like I said you close your eyes and the person's gone. You don't know what's going on, you don't know you don't you can't even process how you're feeling you know emotionally what do you what do you do what do you feel what are you thinking 
you can literally have to check yourself in because of the thoughts that that you think that can just consume you it's mm -hmm. it's 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 rough it can it can be really rough you know and like i said i wasn't talking to anybody i wasn't expressing what i was feeling what i was thinking what i was going through so it's like keeping all these emotions in while life still carries on you know so uh, i could only imagine you you're talking in, in in the past tense it seems did, did you get through it or are you still going through you know what? I I'd have to say this situation has taught me so much about myself. Mm -hmm. I I've, I've grown to know the woman that I am, the woman that I can be. So that was definitely things in the past. I'm I'm good now. We're good now. We're in a good nice. place now. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh so Stacy, to my understanding, um you guys both have children, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And together or separately? Separate. Okay, okay. Now, my question is, um, obviously, even though the kids are separate, they, they obviously played a role to you. Um, do you think that it would have made a difference uh, if there weren't any kids involved or, you know, it, it would be the same throughout? You know what? <laughs> it would have been the same throughout. It, whether mm -hmm. kids were involved or not involved, it didn't change any. It wouldn't change anything for me. So mm -hmm. no, it, it would be the same. I'd be in the same place. I would have stayed just the same. Okay, okay, all right, that's so, fair enough. Stacy, what, what what support systems do you think is needed to help support someone as 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 yourself or, or anyone that's going through the same situation? You know, I feel like in life we go through seasons, right? So mm -hmm. whether it's a situation like this, whether it's you know heartache life unfortunately death sickness you know whatever your situation whatever your season is when you can have a person or a community or a forum or, or resources that you can relate to you know it makes the world a difference when you have people who are encouraging on your team on your side encouraging you it makes the world a difference now mind you you know having people to talk to or a person to talk to is it's difficult nowadays, you know, who can you really trust? That's not just gonna right. listen to your information and sip tea while they're doing it, you know? So uh, right. it, it, it's hard, it's and hard. I'm sipping tea right now. Is that wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, 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 I'm sipping some peppermint tea right now. <laughs> We're gonna give you the blind this time. This time. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's hard to, to find those people but if you can find those resources or that forum again where you, you can have people who are going through what you're going through and you can talk to people and 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 talk out loud and, and say what you're thinking say what's on your mind have those people encourage you i said it makes the world a difference the world of difference mm -hmm. so, you know no. what mm -hmm. no continue continue go ahead you know what Amadeus does for the people on the inside as well as somebody like me or others like me on the outside is truly a blessing so again it's just finding those people finding that organization finding that forum that platform where it's people like you yeah for sure and i i know uh because you know we've all experienced it like i for my for me my experience is a little different than Warren's experience um because earlier on in the show like we talked about our experience with Warren has done longer time than I have. Uh, mm -hmm. I've done pockets of short times. So I never, it, if I was in a relationship or had a partner, it never put that much strain um, okay. on the relationship. But okay. um, sometimes, you know, even, even just after the afternoon, things could change for the better, things could change for the worse. Mm -hmm. Um, and not to say things really changed for the worst, but it, it, it created a different, uh, I guess, sort of like a different connection between the two of you guys. Now, would you say that um, what you guys went through, did it make you guys stronger? Did it create an even tighter bond between you two, a better connection? Or oh. are there still some things that are lingering that might be working out because of the two of you going through this? experience this traumatic experience i mean 100 percent, 10 times better you know it's mm -hmm. it gave us the opportunity to have to rely on other things so you know in a regular relationship you'd have the physical you'd have that person with you all the time 
we had to build our relationship in different ways. Mm -hmm. You know, I, we had to trust one another because that's all we have. We had to make sure that these phone calls that we have are meaningful because that's all we have. So 100%, it, it, I think if you can get through this, you must can get through anything because this was probably one of the hardest things that we've had to go through. I hear that. So do, do you have any advice for anyone that's currently dealing with this or, you know, going through the same thing? Uh, what or what know, would your, your best piece of advice be? Okay, so I'll say two things. All right. So, so firstly, um, you know, from a female perspective that's supporting somebody on the, on the inside, you have to do at the end of the day what makes you happy. And sometimes that's hard because it's like you have all this outside noise, you know, you have maybe family or friends or people giving their, you know, their unwarranted opinions and all types of nonsense, you know? So you have to figure out if, if you found a real one and this is what you guys are going to do, then do what makes you happy despite what anybody else thinks because only you can know your true happiness. And number two, um, it's really easy to lose yourself in a situation like this. It can, you know, fully consume you. You could put yourself on a, on a back burner somewhere out in the forest and you just can't find yourself, you know? You forget things that you like to do, things that you like to eat, you know? Things that are of interest to you, you, you just lose yourself. So, you know, they say you can't pour from an empty cup. I can't give energy to somebody if I don't have energy for myself. Right. I can't love somebody genuinely and wholeheartedly if I don't love myself. You know, so it's it's not losing yourself in a situation like this. I'm thinking about anybody who might be, you know, going through the situation um, when we look when we when I think about this episode. But I, I'm also thinking about. Um, people that are are going to be faced with the situation, like it's coming to them. Mm -hmm. um, is this something that you can prepare for? And if you can, what are some of the, the things you can lend to someone that would need to prepare for this? Or it's literally just, there's no way to prepare for this. You just got to kind of just adapt as you go. Yeah. I, to be honest, when I look back on, you know, when he first went in, there's no, there's no preparing for this. There's no amount of books that you can read or articles that you can, you know, search up. There's, I feel personally, there's no preparation. You're kind of just going with the flow, taking things day by day. You know, there's so many things in there that can affect them and how, you know, they feel. And sometimes those on the outside, you know, get the worst of it. So you can't, you can't, pro I don't, I don't think there's any preparation. <laughs> and, and this might be, this might be a little controversial, but in your own opinion, two things I want to ask in your opinion, uh, who do you think does the harder time the person on the outside or the person on the inside? Because we, we know the person on the inside, definitely it's, it's 10 times harder for them. But mm -hmm. when you speak about, being the person on the outside and having to be that safety net, the one that takes, you know, what someone's going on, what someone's going through on the inside, them having an extremely bad day and then taking it out on the person that's on the outside that's trying to love them or trying to be there for them. They could get hit with some heavy shit and mm -hmm. that could be very bad for them. So in your opinion, can you speak for him in a sense and saying what you think might've been, the most challenging thing for him um and he might say something different but in your opinion what do you think might be the most challenge might have been the most challenging thing for him during this whole process i mean i'd have to say you know that you're putting your people your moms your your girl your wife do something like this you know like as much as your living conditions may may be messed up or you know <sighs> what you're eating or how you're sleeping or whatever. It's, it's the fact that you're, you're putting this on somebody else, you know, somebody mm -hmm. else has to take on this responsibility. Like you said, be a safety net for you. Take on the responsibility of doing everything for you is what I think would be the most challenging from his point of view. Mm -hmm. Just, just knowing that. And I, and I know, and, and it's funny because Warren, Warren actually mentioned that too, didn't you Warren? Um, you said one of the, the, 
those serious things that you went through emotionally was was having to rely on someone on the outside like how do you depend on someone for moral support emotional support financial support like you know it, it was hard for you to to then ask for so much more you know right it could be draining on the people that, that love you you know so i can completely understand what stacy's saying for sure it's crazy people are still going to continue to go through this and yeah. uh some are going through it right now um sorry that you and your partner had to go through it but like you said it it made it made you guys a hundred times stronger um mm. the connection was a hundred times better um you know so i'm glad that you guys were able to to make the best of it i'm glad that you guys were able to come out of it um and be who you guys are for each other now because not a lot of not a lot of couples do make it through situations like this um yeah, sure. and, and it's unfortunate and um even like for the kids too um it can become draining it can become very stressful on them and then on on you too so i'm glad that you guys made it um thank you well well always i'm i don't know you that well but i'm proud of you i'm proud of your partner so um you know let him know that there's people out here that are proud of what you guys have become and how you guys have made it together um oh well thank you that's real thoughtful right? yeah no for sure let him know because like i said it's we're, we're all people we go through things and sometimes it's good to know that um people out there can sympathize and relate to what you know we go through and mm -hmm. you know just a pat on the back that you, you guys made it out you go that goes a long way you know what i mean um so please let him know on our behalf behalf of amadeus behalf of otr me and warren let him know you know we're, we're proud of you guys and happy that you guys made it out for sure you know that's amazing thank you i i, I definitely let him know all right thank you we appreciate that and we appreciate you for giving us the time telling us your story sharing your thoughts with us we appreciate having you on the show um hopefully no, you... thank you it's, it's been an honor <laughs> Oh man, you're making us feel good, bro. Of course, I'm blushing. I'm blushing. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're making us feel good. Um, but no, we, have, we really had a good time with you on the show, and, and maybe later on in the future we could do some more work together. You know? Um, yeah, for sure. So we appreciate you guys definitely. Um, with that being said, we're gonna say goodbye. Uh, listeners, let us know if you guys wanna connect with Stacy. That's something that can happen to us if she's up for talking to anybody that might be going through the same thing. Um, I'm pretty sure she's good with that, right? Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. So feedback, thoughts, anything you guys let us know. Stacy, thank you again. It was a pleasure. We're going to be out. OTR. Warren, take us out. You're listening to OTR, Voices from the Inside Out. Hit us up on Instagram um, at Amadeus T-O. So at Amadeus, A-M-A-D-E-U-S-Z-T-O. Or you can uh, email us at otramadeus.ca. All right, OTR listeners, you know what it is. You know what it is. You know what it is. Time for another banger. This one's called Games. It's from Ose. Her voice is electrifying. I guarantee you're going to love it. Take a listen. OTR. What's up, y'all? It's Ose. You're listening to Off the Record, powered by Amadeus. And this is my track, Games. Trying to get out of my feelings. Cause I do not like this feeling of being alone Never tell me what's on your mind You keep on wasting my time Is this a sign to keep it pushing? Right now my head's a mess Thinking about you got me stressed Look what you've done to me I can play these games too Don't get it confused You ain't ready yeah. Merch alert, merch alert <laughs> You already know what it is man We're doing a merch drop Limited edition, change over chains, hoodies Designed by Exclusity And Trent Out Loud I'm telling you, these, t these sweaters are dope I already got mine Make sure you get yours 100% um, of the proceeds Goes to Amadeus their services it helps to man them out so you know do your part get your sweaters now while supplies last sweaters can be found on amadeus.ca
what if I pulled the you on you? Making this harder than it should be.